watery. <laughs> I can't see you. Welcome, welcome, welcome back everyone. I thought today I would do something a bit more fun and do a product review. So I literally ordered a bunch of stuff from Gerard Cosmetics. Now I am kind of affiliated with them. This this review is not sponsored. It like this is all my actual opinion. So I just want to be completely honest about everything because I don't want you guys to spend money on something that isn't going to be beneficial to you or you're not going to like it because I know with me, I used to buy so many things that influencers used to ref like recommend and a lot of things that they'd recommend I didn't even really like. So that isn't going to be today. So the look I'm going to do today, I actually did it yesterday and I asked on my Instagram, if you don't follow me, you should. <laughs> I asked on my Instagram if you guys want to see me do a more in-depth look on this because it was a really quite cute look. It kind of reminded me of Ferrofloss. So if you get those vibes, that's kind of the vibe. <laughs> um, and yeah, it's just a more in-depth video. I'm pretty much going to be doing my whole face with dried cosmetics except my foundation and my concealer and my eyes. Um, but everything else is gonna be Gerard. So let's get to the video. If you are not subscribed to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you like these product reviews, make sure to hit that like button. And let's get to it. And let's get to what? Let's get to it. I look so weird. <laughs> you know what my mom calls me and a few of my friends? They call me Windy Man. Windy Man. So I don't know if you guys have it in your country, but uh, <laughs> Basically in car shops, there's that tall windy thing and it just like flops back and forth and Unfortunately, I get called that sometimes but whatever also before I forget Gerard is having a 51% off site wide sale So everything is 51% off. So if you guys do want to purchase it, I highly recommend doing it ASAP I just want to talk about this mirror slay all day <laughs> This everyone has been going crazy about this is the Dried Cosmetics Clean Canvas in a Medium. Um, I do, I have been told that there is a white shade and I think they're in the works of another shade as well, but they haven't released that as of yet. So this, I ordered two because I heard good things about it. Now I do live in Australia and Gerard Cosmetics is an American website. I'm so sorry, there is something in my eyes and they're like just watery. <laughs> I can't see you. No, but for real, <laughs> um, I have heard so many things about this amazing clean canvas. So yesterday I did try, I'm not going to act like I didn't try it. I tried it. I had some thoughts, but let me just say that this might be a dupe for pretty much any and every other primer concealer I have used. I didn't find it creased as much as other ones do. But let's just play around with it again. I'm going to be popping this on my eyelids first. Then let me do my face just so we can see how the creasage is going. And then I feel like from that we can progress our makeup forth. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I just took that and went crazy. This is really liquidy, which I like. I'm actually going to be taking what's left on. Now you don't want to use too much because yesterday I did use a lot. And... I felt like I needed to blend the schnitz out of it. So, just saying that if you want to try, avoid it. <coughs> Don't get a lot. So, I'm basically going to be starting with this eye. See what I mean? Like, that is like a dot. I literally took it on the back of my hand because um, there was a lot on this. So, let me just put some more here. <sighs> so, I really think a little bit goes such a long way. Now... I'm not going to throw shade, so no shade, okay? But I have to say something. I personally think that this is, like, better than the um, P. Louise. No offense, but I'm not even a big fan of the P. Louise base. I just think it is... I don't know. I just... When I personally use it, I'm like, nah. I feel like you need to apply a thick layer. How freaking cool is that, honestly? And I love that it's in shade medium. I feel like this is like 
almost literally my skin tone like don't you guys think then i'm getting what's left on the back of my hand even though i shouldn't because this eye is like already i kind of like to connect it just as i'm starting if you guys want to see a video on how i do my brows let me know and if you also want to check out my latest video on how i overline my lips go check that out because i always get asked if i have lip fillers and no i don't but i really want to go get some now i am getting this morphe flat brush and i'm just going to be very lightly pouncing that in and then i just like to make sure that my brow is exactly the shape i want we are going to do our brows now for brows i have mentioned this product before it's a brow bar to go by whitening lightning now here's the thing so oh by the way if you didn't know gerard cosmetics owns whitening lightning so they are like they're linked together um it's just a different brand this i've had this i am not kidding you since i started makeup this is when i first started watching jacqueline hill like literally i was in school I was in year 11, so 2011, because my year was like every year of the actual year. So like 2003, I was in year 3, 4, 4, you know. So it was kind of easy. <laughs> I could never, ever forget what year I was in, basically. Um, so 2012 was when I really wanted to start getting into makeup more. And that's when I started listening to what people were telling me to do. And that's when like, I started wasting a lot of money on products that I didn't even really like. But I was like, oh... They have it, so it must be good. At, I'm going to get it too. And then 80% of the time, I was like, oh. Um, this was one thing that Jacqueline recommended years ago when she was still affiliated with Dried Cosmetics. This is in medium to dark, I believe, or medium to ebony or something like that. I personally love using this shade for that half. And then I mix those two shades for that. And then this, I usually, if I want, I use my finger. I dab onto it and then I like go over my brow. And that's kind of like the sticky part. Like they pretty much got the soap in before soap brows came out. If you know what I mean. Usually always lift my brow. Now that's a bad thing because I'm causing creasage here and I don't want that. So I'm gonna, I like to look down and that kind of forces your eye to relax. Because you obviously want to see what you're doing. I like to create a little line at the bottom and then I like just fill it in. Like, do you see? And I literally just take one little, you know? I know some people hate tapping, but it's just such a thing for me. And yeah, I'll try to like take it out of the video, but what can you do? So far, I'm loving how my lids are looking. Like, can you see? There's only a little bit of creasage on this eye. But on this eye, look, there's actually nothing. And that is a shock. That is a shock for me because usually like it's just crazy i don't know it's just crazy because usually my eyes crease like when i put concealer on them forget it girl forget it so another favorite favorite product of mine is the illuminator in sophia now i'm not just raving about this for nothing this legit like can you see how it's a bit thick i love that consistency i personally prefer it being a bit more thicker i feel like when it's a bit too runny it kind of just like can melt away and you kind of get lost in that whereas if it's thick it works better in your foundation and on your floss so i'm just using a real techniques brush and we are just gonna start by i like to start on my cheek like do you see and they have like four Four or five, I believe, different shades. I have another one that I do not know where the blank it is. But look at the difference between this side of my face and this side. Like, it's just, oh, like, you know this? And it blends so amazing. Like, I know that there are some illuminators that get patchy. This one just doesn't get patchy. And I love it. I'm literally just going to start. And a little bit goes a long way, like. You know, that pretty much was the whole side of my face. I look like a disco ball. <laughs> Yay! Alright, so let's zoom in a bit closer. I'm only using one palette today. The Stacey Marie Excel Pink. And this baby blue. As you can see, that's one of my most loved colours. So I'm going in with Y though, and I'm taking this Morphe flat brush. And the reason I'm taking a flatter brush is because you have to remember that when you want a dense when you have a dense brush your you want to pack on the color and i really want to pack on the color yeah we do so i'm putting it is this one right here 
and I'm just stamping it. So I'm using this BYS liner. This is just a liquid liner. And I'm not going to do like a crazy wing. I feel like yesterday was a crazy wing, but I feel like I like the little subtle teeth to it. But now what I'm going to do is I'm taking a fluffier brush and I'm going in with Pep Talk. So that pink shade, just taking it on a fluffy brush. I think I just said that, but whatever. And then you want to like tilt back and I like to just kind of very lightly just go crazy to look straight just because you really want to make sure that's coming through to the crease. And then just like blend it. You don't want to really go past this little section because we're going to put a another, um, we're going to put the blue again. Of my brush and I'm going to just start by, you don't want to like go over the wing. And if you do, it's okay because you can just go over it again. You just, you know. So now we're up to these palettes. Now I should have ordered more because I am low key running out. This is actually one of my favorite bronzers. This is the... First class starlet honeymoon palette. Yes. Okay. So I actually love these bronzers. Um, I don't know. I'm pretty sure they come in pans as well, like different pans. The only thing is there is a, like quite a lot of fallout. Um, other than that, you're pretty good to go. Like you just, I'm going to go in with both of the bronzers. No, they're pretty good. So you just need to, I think, get like a bit on your brush. And then just kind of work that in. So I'm like starting by dabbing and then I'm going in. I wouldn't say they're super, 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 super pigmented, but they're pretty good, honestly. And they blend quite nicely as well. I feel like it's so good for nose contour. Like, honestly, it's bomb. So I'm going back in with the same brush and I'm taking the blush shade. This is a really nice blush shade and I personally think it's quite pigmented. The reason I'm putting it on the same brush is because I still want to add that bronzy effect. And I'm just putting this so lightly because I think that the blush is so like... If you like go in hand with it, be careful. The blush is like really nice. Really nicely pigmented. All right, now for the highlighting part, this is the Starlet palette, Grace, Marilyn, and Lucy. Now, I personally think this, these two shades are not normal, especially for camera. Going out, they are not my shade, so I always mix in this because it's a bit more bronzy. You can totally use that as a bronzer or a blush if you want like a shimmery blush. Um, I this one's more my shade than that one. That's way wider. That one's a bit more bronzy, but it does come up crazy on. Like, let me just show you. I'll just do like one little swipe and one swipe. And then I always like do three. And then, oh, like I can see. This is one swipe, guys. Do you see? Like, imagine you go in three, four times. Ooh! And then I just like to blend that out. Like the highlighters are not normal. I give them like a 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. I totally think that they're worth it. And they last quite a long time in my opinion. So the highlighters, I recommend, highly recommend them. They're like so bomb. Now, like legit, one of my favorite, favorite things is the lip liners. So this is in shade Nude. They're so creamy and the colors are incredible. They also last like all day. If you want to see how I overline my lips, by the way, I will put it up here so you guys can see. Now to finish this look off, I'm going in with two of my favorite lip colors. This is Buttercream and Madison Avenue. Now I'm taking a Buttercream and I'm going to be putting this in the middle. Just like here and here. All right, my loves, this is the final result. I hope you all enjoyed this review. I will list as well where these beautiful earrings and these jewelry is from. All down below. Everything will be listed down below. So don't forget to check that out. Honestly, I do think Gerard Cosmetics is a very good brand. And I highly recommend them. I totally think you need to try some of their lip products. If you don't want to try any of the face stuff, the lip products and this K 
canvas eye i think i need to buy more i already bought two <laughs> so you bet believe i'm gonna buy some more, 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 more. i'm so excited because they're doing so well and i'm so proud of gerard and everything that they stand for so thank you guys so much for always believing in me and I truly wouldn't want to partner up with a brand or, you know, be affiliate with a brand if they weren't genuinely great and represented greatness. So that's my little outtake on that. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I will list everything that I have and my top, top things you need. Like there are a few lip glosses I think are so essential and all their lipsticks last all day because they just like glued onto your skin. You need actual oil to take it off. So that's a little tip. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I want to also give a huge shout out to my girl Lauren. I will post her right here. She won a post um, questionnaire that I have on my Instagram. If you guys are interested in that, I do a little poll and if whoever guesses it right first gets a little shout out. So there she is there and I will link her Instagram down below as well. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Bye.